Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a modal. So what is a modal? So if you go to the official Bootstrap website, modal is something like this that appears when you trigger it via a button, for example. And if we click that, it, it appears. We can't, you know, access the rest of the website. It's grayed out. We have a title. You can have images here. You could have Bootstrap grid system here. But it just means if you click off it, it exits. If you click the X, goes away if you click close it goes away and save changes that's more back-end functionality but you could trigger some php some python for example and actually you know perform some sort of maybe a data based request okay so this is what we're going to be implementing so a bunch more stuff that you can do you know with your modal you can you know vertically center it you can you know use the grid system like i mentioned and you know it's all covered here so feel free and you know you can do full screen ones you know as well like so so feel free to take a look at all the different features available to you for the modal system i will provide a link to this in the description so let's get uh, on implementing a simple modal. So first of all, we are going to create a button. And this is going to have a type of button. Uh, it's going to be a class. So feel free to check out my separate bootstrap video covering buttons and the classes available. Because uh, all of this is covered there. So I'm not going to rehash that. The data toggle. And what is it toggling? It's toggling some sort of modal. And then you specify a target. And this will be an ID. The ID of the modal which we have not created yet. And I'm going to call it epic modal. And I'm going to say launch epic modal. So we've got the button now. Now we need to actually create the modal. So we're going to put a div, a class of modal, fade. So we have a fade in animation. The ID, which is this right here. So we can just copy it, paste it. We don't need the hash because obviously the hash just, you know, states that it is an idea, which is stated by this attribute right here. Now we're going to have a tab index. It's going to be negative one just so you can't tab onto it while it isn't you know visible area dash labeled by and area labeled by yeah epic modal label which we will implement inside in a moment and is there anything else we need in here yes an area dash hidden and it's, by default it's going to be set to true equals true and now we're going to have a modal dialog so div class equals modal dash dialog and all of the modal stuff will be in here but then within here we're going to modal content this is just the format they required based on the way bootstrap is designed and we're going to have a class modal dash content and then in here what we're going to do is have a couple of the three main sections so we're going to have a div for class of modal header feel free to you know change the color apply your own styling as you know you you want to and i'm going to put h5 you can put h6 h1 you can put a div tag and style you however you want but h5 has some nice styling and the the modal title class that just provides some nice styling id equals and it is this one here that's what it needs to match with and it's going to be epic title or whatever you want to call it last thing in here i'm going to put that x button in the top right which also closes it as well 
So this is going to have a type of button, class of close, data dash dismiss equals modal, area dash label equals close and we don't need any text but we need a span and that will be for you know the actual you know, appearance so span area that's hidden equals true ampersand times semicolon and that's it so that's it for the header so we can get out of here we're going to put the body now so this is another div the so div and we're going to put a class of modal dash body not body body and in here you can put images you can put videos you can put you know paragraphs whatever you want i'm going to keep it simple and put the lorem ipsum text which is a very you know popular text to put in you know as a placeholder so save that okay i don't need to save it yet i'll save it it's good to save it anyway and then we're going to implement the footer so div this is where the bottom you know part is you know where you've got like close and save change button for example modal i mean first of all you put class attribute the modal dash footer then button type equals button class equals btn btn dash secondary again you can do whatever theme you want this is the one i've chosen data dash dismiss equals modal so this will dismiss the modal when pressed and this is going to say close as a save button i want to put that uh, primary style we don't want it to dismiss the modal you can make it if you want to but that's totally up to you again this doesn't save anything this is just you know the front end to show you how to format it and what it could look like now if we go back refresh we get the launch epic model click it it launches it and now let's just make sure all of the buttons are working so that works that works if i click off it that works and save doesn't do anything as of yet and it is also responsive as well and if you go on here you can see how to you know do different sizes as well so look over here somewhere so if you wanted anything below a medium size to be completely full screen which we should be triggering now you can do it's a similar process and obviously that would look great on mobile so that is it that is how you implement a modal a very simple one but the principle is the same you can add images more text you can add the bootstrap grid system which is all covered in here you can add whatever you want if you have any questions though feel free to pop me a message you know or you know comment in the comment section and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video